I did an extended research on these pullers and this is the best one that I could find uh, for these smaller valves so now I gotta find a way to get those valves out all right so I'm gonna try and pull the uh, valve out and uh, we're adjusting it right now I'm, I'm, cre I'm trying to be creative with this one here because I can't get the valve on both sides with this puller. If you know of a smaller one, uh, comment below on these engines here because I'm having, uh, I might have to go tighter with this. All right, so push it back up. Walk it down some more. Let's see if that will work. And make sure that it's in there. You don't want the snipping. And then point it down. Give it a shot. And okay, there we go. Okay, I can see the locks want to come out, so I need a magnet. All right, so we have the magnet, Let's see if that works. So we get a little screwdriver to see if we can bring it out in there. So I was able to get the valve spring uh, loader into here by spinning this onto the other side stuck in there I was trying to move it out and I accidentally stumbled across the solution so see if that'll work and I'm pushing down on it I could actually get the uh, nut out and I got it out so there we go now the valve is going to come out so it's not an easy uh, solution but we got it out push it through it doesn't appear to be bent uh, by the naked eye. Anyway, all right, let's give it a roll and see what we got. I don't know if I see a bend valve there. A lot of carbon build up. Okay. I don't see a bend valve on that one. Investigating. See the seal. It's actually damaged on that, so the valve seal on that is damaged. That could possibly be one of our issue here. Let's get the other one out and see what it looks like. So now we're going to remove this one here, and that should be uh, good for visual inspection. Those are the two valves that were that come out of the uh, on the ports. Basically, I spun it back loose. And, uh, let's see if we can't get in there. See what my paint is here? Okay, there we go. Alright, so I got it in. Press it up against the valve and push it down. Make sure it's locked in on both sides. Push down, unlock. There we go. I believe we got it. There I got one. Got it out. Let's see what we're looking at. 
And this is what I'm saying, you know, and even distribution of the coil spring, but it's really tough to get back there. So looks like this valve is completely missing its spring, so that might have been the cause to breaking these valve seals. see it being the valve so it's got to be in the valve seals because there's a ton of carbon on it right the valve seals appear to be damaged what we're going to do is we're going to clean off the valves replace the valve seals and put them back in and see what we got at a later date one more time for good measure we're gonna have a look at them show you guys what we have so this one here It's a little damaged on the side. Right there. And this one, the spring had come out. 